everyone, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am determined to get my December daily from 2021 finished. So first of all, I'm going to show you a quick Canva process and um, behind how I created my um, custom sized photo with adding text onto it. So in Canva on the top right hand side, there's the um, custom size and I am making that um, the size that I want to go into my album which is the same size as a 6x8 um, page protector and then I'm just going to hit create new design and then that is going to open up a canvas for me to be able to add my photo onto so I'm going into the uploads and I've already uploaded the image into um, there and you can just do that by going upload media which is the purple button on the left there and I'm adding my photo in to um, my my canvas and then I'm just moving it around to crop it where I want it to be cropped and I'm going to use all that negative space that white area there to actually add my text onto so once I'm happy with the placement I'm actually going to turn my photo black and white so I'm just going to go into the edit image and take all of the saturation down to remove the color Next up, really simple, just add in a text box and I'm going to make that, um, I'm just going to add some text here just as an example. I'm going to drag it all the way across and then I'm going to make it right aligned. And then what's that that's going to do is that's going to enable the, me to be able to control the text um, from how far across it goes so you can see that there is more photo to the left and then obviously drops down over to the right so as I'm adding my text here once I've got a full line I'm just pressing the return um, button and the uh, then going on to the next line to add my next bit of journaling so this is just an example here um, just with some random typing just to show you um, exactly how I do this so the text wraps around the photo and I'm sure there's other ways that you can do this as well, um, but I thought I would film a tutorial on how to do this and I actually film this back in December when um, I was actually creating my December daily. I had plans of doing Christmas in July to finish my album and that kind of went out the window, um, but I do have some process videos that I filmed in December when I was creating these um, spreads so this is going to encourage me to get the rest of the album finished off also so there is my printed photo so I just printed that onto some A4 photo paper and then trimmed it out um, and then that trims out to the perfect size and I've already added my holes there for it to go into the album so I want to jazz up the spread a little more with some embellishment. So I grab some star dies from my um, my die stash, and I'm just using my little Gemini uh, mini Gemini mini, I think it's called the little die cutting machine. And I've got a couple of die cutting machines. I've got that one, and I've got the um, the big shot as well. So when it comes to wanting to cut some smaller elements like this that little Gemini mini is perfect um, to keep around my desk so I don't have to go and lug the um, the, the big shot out um, because it's quite heavy it's quite bulky and I don't need it for these smaller dies so I'm going to keep because the photo is all black and white and the text I've gone with black as well um, I'm going to keep the embellishing to um, red only on this so on that smallest star I used a uh, number nine for my day um, and then these chipboard pieces here are from one of the Ali Edwards kits and I think that number nine was actually from a um, those are puffy stickers from Freckled Fawn from their October or November kit it might be a November kit from last year and so I have a look I originally had these two bits of chipboard um, but I decide that they look a little bit blocky um, so I decide that I add one of the chipboard pieces for that December stories and then I add this little red um, present which is actually already up on a foam dot and those are from Rosie Studio from the Twinkle All The Way collection so I'm going to add some adhesive behind my vellum so the way that I try and cover my adhesive up behind vellum is to work out where my embellishment is going to be going over the top so I add a strip of it and then add my little chipboard piece there to cover up the um, the adhesive. 
The only thing is when I come to do the little number, um, obviously that's more exposed, um, but I'm okay with it. I just run with it and you can see a little bit of the adhesive behind the vellum, but that's okay. I decide whether I want to include my little sticker because this is a story about having um, my third COVID jab, I think it was, on the 9th of December. But I decide against it and I'm happy then with this finished layout. So thank you very much for joining me today. Stay tuned for some more December Daily Inspiration. Looking forward to this year's one as well. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye!